and welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new seat mi electric 2021 version and in this video i will review it interior exterior as always you will see everything about this car uh, if you also want to see the test drive it will come soon on my channel just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video with the test drive will come out so there you find more information about the driving feedback and guys by the way if you're new on my channel don't forget to subscribe also i will leave the link to the car in the description if you want to see the technical data if you want to buy it if you are in switzerland around switzerland just check it out guys down below uh, at Kauchi garage you will find out uh, a lot of infos there so anyway we will start with technical data i also review the brother the volkswagen e up it's probably already on the channel if it's not on the channel just click the subscribe button to see when the video with the volkswagen e up will come out because it's the same platform the same motor the same uh, battery and everything almost is the same only the design exterior and the interior and i will talk in this video and i will tell you somehow the difference between those two i think this is one of the best city car electric city car at the moment because it has a lot of range in my opinion 260 uh, kilometer range this is the vltp official range of course maybe in real time in real life will be around 200 kilometer in the winter time maybe 150 kilometer but it's more than enough for the city driving because most of the people they don't drive more than 60 kilometer every day but 150 200 kilometers is more than enough also if you drive super economical you can get some great consumption out of it and i think if you try to make the best of the car you can get even to 250 km in the perfect condition in the summer so yeah i will give you the technical detail as always in the beginning here at gauchi garage guys in switzerland by the way uh, i will leave the link in the description the price of this seat me electric uh, plus it's 90,700 francs of course it's not super new it has 1,200 kilometers but it's brand new uh, so it doesn't matter probably the new price will be maybe 1,000 2,000 more but it's still much more cheaper than his brother e-up so this car here it's built on the same platform um, with the same battery same motor same cockpit same multimedia system same gear shifter same system everything it's almost the same only the design is different uh, and i will explain you also the difference between those two as we go outside also i think in my opinion the design of the e-up it's it's much more beautiful than this one not much but it's more beautiful at least the back of the car it's much nicer also the led light in the front are much nicer on the e-up but overall it's the same car i mean this one is much much cheaper three four thousand cheaper depending which country you are you have to check it yourself but yeah that keep in mind that as we go and review the car i will give you the technical detail right now right here because outside it's windy when i go outside i will make i will show you the different elements from the exterior as i said before it comes with 93 horsepower uh, 210 newton meters it comes with mcpherson suspension in the front independent in the back torsion a beam also it has very good suspension to be honest i observed that when i when i make the test drive with the e up and when i drive this one here the suspension are really good for a small car like that anyway we will talk about in the test drive about that the charging power it's 40 kilowatt hour the maximum charging power of course you can charge it slowly at home but you need more hours and at maximum speed 40 kilowatt hour you will need probably one hour to have a full battery yeah, i don't know if i missed something on technical detail ask me by the way down below i will go outside the price you already know it right now but i will give you also outside right now when we are outside a few information about the car yeah by the way guys i want to tell you something the key by the way it's a normal classical key you have to put it in and turn it just like that in order to start the car also we will turn on the lights so we will talk about the lights as well let me close the door actually the size of the car the platform is the same platform as on the volkswagen e-up uh, the only difference it's a little bit here and there the rims 
the design a few elements but other than that it's it's practically the same car in the back also a little bit different there the window uh, from the back in the e-up come all over down uh, until here where on the uh, me electric it stop here so it will start with the paint uh, here but other than that even the the opener is the same the shape of the car it's very similar even those windows here are the same and i like that very much i like the way they design with this big window you have amazing visibility from the interior uh, it looks also good with the tinted windows shape the roof spoiler it's the same antenna is the same uh, by the way by seat you have five years warranty where on the volkswagen you have to pay extra for that and it's around 700 extra so yeah that's something to keep in mind that's why i tell you seat is more affordable and, and nicer uh, other than that very similar the handles are the same the mirrors are the same um, in the front the same same almost the same design also here they have a different grille but this bumper is similar on the e-up you have that beautiful led lights like a u here where here on the me you have led lights for the fog lamp down here cornering light uh, but other than that the same bulb light the same as on the e-up this is the exterior design pretty nice compact car perfect for the city uh, overall it's a beautiful car in my opinion a beautiful mini car you save a lot of money you you save a lot of taxes uh, a lot of uh, insurance you will have cheaper so overall it's a great save money car so also it's a great second car uh, for some of people that want to have a second car and for the city and one for for outside or whatever anyway let's start with the back of the car big window here tinted window very nice uh, the roof spoiler quite simple and nice uh, here is the brake led light you have a wiper in the back seat logo here you open the trunk me electric writing in the back you have the lights here in the back they are not led the same as on the e-up everything is bulb light even the reverse light and even the fog lamp and if i remember well the volkswagen e-up have led light on the fog lamps and they have it somewhere down here so yeah overall the back design of the e-up it's much nicer than this one uh, yeah at least in my opinion uh, if we go down here you can see another change on this me electric you have normal bulb light here on the number plate where on the e-up you have two led lights with two lights right here so yeah that's another uh, difference and then you have free parking sensors in the back very useful right here i didn't see any on the e-up i'm not sure if you can get it as an option on the e-up but i can see that sad me have the parking sensors and that's a big plus for the me both of them have plus and minus the charging port it's the same one but here keep in mind 40 kilowatt hour maximum charging speed you have dcc charging power dc charging power ccs uh, you can charge it so yeah that's that's great the same one as on the e-up the handles are the same one pretty nice clean uh, and beautiful modern in my opinion also big windows i like them very much the way they look uh, glossy plastic between here the mirrors are the same mirrors as on the e-up pretty nice pretty modern also they are very similar with the golf or on the polo also nice in black beautiful design me electric writing also on the side here on the sticker other than that you have a camera on the windscreen right here guys for uh, lane assist the car can read uh, the lane assist so it will help you for tempo mat function also you have the the sensors for light and rain black you have black on the roof here that looks nice on this model you have directly the paint here where on the e-up you have a plastic added over it over this area where that plastic protect the the paint of the car in time from rust from all kind of debris uh, and that will be much safer in the future for the car will probably last more but also this one have this plastic here to protect this area so yeah pretty nice just as an in information keep this in mind going in the front kind of the same hood the grill is different here you have this sad grill where you have some kind of air intakes there so it's a build on the same platform as on the uh, IC car and combustion engine car so yeah it's quite similar simple nice nice angles uh, here I wish it was LED but you have the the high beam low beam and turning signals 
they are normal bulb light here as you see before the fog lamp it's LED here on the cornering and other than that this shape beautiful shape on the bumper kind of sporty and nice and also some air intakes there in the middle so yeah quite nice I like it not bad not bad design in my opinion quite good simple clean modern all right here also you have a manual lift gate is the same one as on the e-up and then here is the uh, electric parts is not the motor it's also in the front because it's a front wheel drive by the way the motor is somewhere under there you have the inverter here the 12 volt battery you have the liquid cooling the the, the brakes the the liquid for the wipers so overall yeah this is the front part come with 16 inch rims where on my review i have 15 inch rims on the other e-up and the e-up was amazing over the bumps i have some great consumption check out the test drive around 12 kilowatt hour gorgeous consumption also with acceleration and stuff like that but those one in my opinion also the rims on the e-up was that aerodynamic rims almost cover everywhere and that was helping the aerodynamic those one they are beautiful is the same design as uh, seat use it on the new leon or i see it on some other models from seat also i think on the alhambra some similar design with this gray mat they look beautiful but i'm not sure how aerodynamic are for the electric version of the car for example on this me the same drum brakes in the brake as on the e-up because you know Volkswagen group used the drum brakes in the back they said that you probably never have to make service on them because electric car use that regenerative brake and most of the cars break 80% of the time I mean all the cars 80% of the car they break in the front in the back no brake so yeah that's why they lower the cost they are not so heavy as the brake discs not so expensive as the brake discs and they are more practical on the electric cars also yeah the suspension as you probably know torsion beam in the back here and also uh, they use those shock absorber and good suspension anyway in the front you have brake discs ventilated brake discs by the way the same as on the e-up i think you should see it there in the back trunk it's very similar i like how easy it is to open the trunk on these uh, models handle here normal plastic you have some support here uh, kind of a cover for the trunk you know it i will also take it out so you can see how it looks without it pretty big entrance in the trunk you have 251 liters here in the trunk also i like how practical it is for how small the car it is it's incredible practical and i will show you why you have some hooks normal bulb light hooks 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 here you have a floor look under this floor that you can also take it out without any problem just like that under this floor you have another place where you can put your cables uh, those are the cables that come with the car by the way where you can charge it for example this one here you can charge it at a fast charging station with 11 kilowatt hour or uh, yeah around this or 7.4 and then you have those one that you can charge it even at home you need more hours maybe 10 hours maybe more to charge a full battery but still still great and also you have a storage space down here where you can put your cables and stuff for example if you stick in the cable there it will go in without any problem look at this this is this is really good really helpful and if it's, this is not enough for you you still have a storage space down there for repair kit or whatever so you don't have a spare tire but plenty of space for such a small car it's incredible spacious so yeah in my opinion perfect i mean it's super space for a city car now let me take this out we will fold down the seats we'll see how much space we have there in the back hey i just take out that protection and now you can see better the entrance quite big a lot of space you can fit in a lot of things here uh, in the trunk without any problem now if you want to fold down the seats you have to fold it 40 60 you don't have the ability to fold down the middle part in order to carry long items but i don't think you need it uh, in this car it's super simple to fold it down and once you fold it down you have a flat floor with this floor right here it's incredible uh, practical and, and it's very nice designed uh, in my opinion you can see very well right here for this angle um, how much space you have here I think I still think you can fit a lot of things in the car and yeah 
I like it. I like the way they design it. It's very nice. It looks good and it's it's practical. And you can take also this out if you want to have a big hole right here and then yeah, you can use it the way you want it. It's incredible spacious. Very practical. If I go on the side, the fact that they add the window here on the door, it allow the car to open so much and to have such a big entrance in the car this is incredible good the entrance is bigger than in in other bigger car that i review it and also the fact that you have the big window here you have incredible visibility and yeah of course you cannot open completely you have to open it up like this this is maximum what you can do with the window it's perfect i like it and now entrance big going forward look how much space you have here in the back what do you think i mean it's perfect the size of the car the space the practicality it's it's perfect guys more than enough and now let me finish with the door here in the back as you can see here it comes the paint of the car in this area the same on the e up here you have plastic everywhere so don't expect to have some uh, soft material on the doors some storage space small one here then you have the handle the hook and then you have a speaker down here big entrance as i said before and also pretty spacious here in the back we will see in the moment i will go there we will see how much space it is uh, it comes with these fabric material seats um, quite nice simple design also those white lines here you have two isofix for child so we can install two child seats and actually you have plenty of space for the child seats uh, it's very spacious here in the back you don't have any center console the same as on the e-up uh, other than that they are big they are wide um, and they should be comfortable we will see in the second behind the front seats you have leather the same design almost the same quality as on the e-up Actually, I think it's the same. The design is a little bit different. Here you have a cup holder in the middle. And then let's go inside to see how much space we have. Going inside, close the door. The same quality on the doors as well. Uh, amazing visibility, the same as on the E-Up. The same design, great visibility, perfect. I mean, in terms of visibility, it's gorgeous. Now, the headspace also it's maybe a little bit bigger. I can feel a little bit bigger than on the E-Up. Yeah, I don't know. It's more space on the head. Or it's just my impression, but it looks like it's more space on my head. Here on my, on my legs, I have like four fingers. You can see the seats in the front can be more in the back. You can also fold the seats in the front more in the back, so then you have more space. Overall, I have a good comfort right here. If I put the seats a little bit forward, will be even more space. Now, let me go in the middle now to test this out. In the middle, you have also four fingers. And here you have like two fingers. This is a little bit back than in my position. Usually I drive a little bit forward with it, but I have 173 centimeters, so you can make an idea. This is the space here on my knees, also on my head. I have like four fingers. This is very similar with E-Up, here on the right side the same. Yes, on the, on the side it's, it's really good. I mean, you can have three person here, even for, for short, medium trips without any problem. And overall, yeah, it's okay. No problem, no problem. A little bit stiffer in the middle. On the side it's much more comfortable, but overall it, it's okay, it's okay. You can go three people here for short trips medium trips and, and yeah. We will go in the front and we will talk a little bit about the things there in the front. Also very similar uh, with Volkswagen E-Up. Just the design is different in terms of colors and the steering wheel is different, the multimedia is the same. But other than that, great, same visibility, same great simple modern design. So. Let's go in the front and let's talk about the things there. Guys, so here in the front, same big window, great visibility. Here you have the same as in the back, this paint of the car. Then you have a small plastic here with alarm right here. The same as on the E-Up here, the same story, plastic everywhere. Uh, just here you have much more space than in the back. Storage space, a bigger speaker. Uh, then you have electric windows in the front, lock and unlock electrically. Even the mirror, it's electrically adjustable and also heated mirror. And then the handle in chrome, pretty good, pretty nice. Simple and practical and, and nice, the things that you needed is here. Big entrance in the front right here, as you can see it. Also, if you look at the seats in the front, the same design of the seats, only the, the colors are different. 
uh, from the E up the lines the the stitches are different the white ones but you have side support they are pretty big and wide and and the comfort is, is similar manual adjustment from down here and also up here in this area i will show you it's much more easy uh, to fold it down if you want to so look at this it's not uh, like the normal version of the cars you just pull this like this pull it and then push it back and you can see in one second you can put it like that then you press it once two three and then you put it in the position super simple it comes with manual handbrake the same as on the e up normal pedals the same as on the e up also this controller for the light is similar the same one uh, where you can control the lights here is also the same the vents are the same but the the color here is different so here it's different design with some kind of uh, electric lines strip design uh, and i like it i like this white here look gorgeous also the same plastic on the dash there you can adjust the steering wheel the way you want it manually from back here up down left right so you can adjust it in every position you want also the steering wheel is different we have this sad steering wheel the other thing that it's similar the a pillar you have this speaker right here small speaker no blind spot don't worry about the blind spot you have incredible good visibility from driver point of view so you don't have to worry i test the car this one i drive it i drive the other one they are the same and they are incredible incredible good in terms of visibility now uh, down here you have the gear shifter where you can change the gear different position parking reverse neutral drive and b mode b mode it's when you want the car to regenerate more energy you go in b mode when you take the foot out of acceleration the car will regenerate more energy back in the battery the d mode is when the car is rolling check out the test drive there i i give you more infos uh, here you have a button echo echo plus and normal mode you have three different driving modes uh, depending which driving mode you are the car will accelerate more aggressive or more slowly so it will give you a better consumption it will help you out with the consumption schedule the charging and then you have the 12 volt port some storage space for the cup holders uh, also some space here for your phone for example pretty nice if I go forward, we have a glow box. That's the same glow box as on the E-Up. Pretty big glow box, I like it. Super spacious glow box. I like it very much. I like the layout of the dash. Very clean, very nice. Uh, and also good visibility from here to the cockpit, to the multimedia. Uh, it's quite nice, clean and nice. Also up here you have a USB 2 port and also in this area you can add some support for your mobile phone because the car come with this kind of classic multimedia system where you have only the radio the media you can connect your phone for example if you want to use it as a bluetooth you have the menu here where you can change um, adjust different settings but it's a classic one it's nothing fancy nothing crazy uh, it's simple and it's do his job the way it should do so don't expect something crazy if you want something crazy like maps navigation and stuff like that just use your mobile phone and you have a support here i don't know if this car come with the support or you have to buy extra not sure about that but yeah anyway usually it should be here check out the other video with the e up he was already here so other than that vents there in the back uh, i like also this area here it's very nice design it uh, you can see the vents integrated me electric writing there and overall quite nice integrated all this part here with the climatic system by the way let me put the contact to show you uh, the climatic system automatic climatic system you can adjust it from here and you have this physical button super simple to adjust different functions and uh, it's nice it's modern and it's super beautiful integrated here in the dash i like how they integrate it also by the way even here and even also in the e up you don't have this armrest here something that it's missing i wish was here to be honest then the great part is that you have this button here that means you have the frosting windshield if you look closely you can see it has some little lines across the windshield that means it will warm the the windshield in the winter time it's amazing to have this on your car heated seats for you and the passenger also you can get it extra lane assist you have here the button for the lane assist and other than that 
yeah, super simple. Everything easy to, to control and adjust the things right here on the screen. The cockpit, it's quite uh, classic. You have here the, the energy. You can see how you use the energy, regenerate, use more power. It will show you here on the other side, you have how much battery you still have it. And then in the middle, you have the speedometer and down there a little kind of uh, digital screen in the middle there where you can also see for example the speed the consumption and stuff like that you can set it up from here if I'm not wrong yeah I'm not sure how you can set it on the e up uh, you will have on the steering wheel those controllers here on the steering wheel the button but on this me electric you don't have it I think you can get it as an option because on the e up uh, you have that optional uh, controller on the steering wheel and from here from those controllers you can also see the consumption and change different information there in the middle but other than that the steering wheel it's simple it's leather nice uh, from Seat logo and yeah he's doing his job perfectly uh, in terms of driving steering is the same feeling as on the e-up the key you already see it no star stop uh, engine button uh, mirror is the same mirror great visibility by the way amazing visibility you can see it right here because you have a big window in the back there and up here it's also everything simple you have normal bulb light the same as on the e-up and then here the difference from the e-up is that this me electric have a mirror the e-up doesn't have any mirror here i think i cover everything i'm not sure if i miss something guys i hope it was helpful if i miss something just ask me down in comment ask me anything you want i will answer to you all your comments guys just ask me and i will try my best to help you out as always i read all the comments also guys uh, as a conclusion seat me electric it's much cheaper it has some good things and some bad things than e-up the e-up uh, feel a little bit better build quality and better design and yeah also the price is bigger so overall both are great city cars and you can get some amazing savings from those cars 260 VLTP range it's more than enough for a city car also you can go outside the city without any problem if you live close to a city you can do that every day without any problem if you drive no more than 100 km every day the car it's it's top and you should go for it i think i cover everything if you want to see the test drive soon on the channel just click the subscribe button to see when the test drive will come out also uh, check out the the e-up you can make a difference between this and the other one so you can know which one is better for you anyway you have to test it you have to see it and then you can choose what is better for you you know what fit you better uh, to be honest and anyway i think it's a great deal this is the future driving electric driving uh, much cheaper uh, you save on the insurance you save on the taxes in some country probably you get this tax incentives like germany and it's a great price in in a few years you get the money back from what this car help you save in time so yeah thank you for watching as always i really appreciate guys really appreciate that you're watching my video i really appreciate your nice comments and feedbacks that mean a lot for me it it helped me a lot to go forward and um, to make more videos for you thank you again to all of you all my subscribers and all of you that watching my videos also if you want to find out more information about this car uh, you want to find out the price, you want to test it, you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, I will leave the link in the description to Gauchi Garage and then you can check them out. Also, if you want to find out more technical detail and articles, information about the car industry, uh, check out our website sdadancar.com, there you find a lot of articles about the car. I didn't have time to, to write, but in the future will we'll be more and more and more. Uh, I guess that was the video, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.